Hi, this is Gary. I'm Lisa. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. What are we doing today? We thought we would uh, talk about the Q2 numbers are out, that it's always fun at the end of the quarter that we have the numbers for June, but we also have the numbers for Q2 20 versus Q2 19. So we're excited to talk about that and what's happening in the market. quite an interesting year this year, but we have seen it pick up dramatically in the last few weeks in the real estate market around here. Um, definitely high, high demand, um, not enough properties on the market compared to the buyers in the market. Um, interest rates are at record, record lows. They are under 3%, which is just crazy. So of course people are crazy refining, but it's also bringing buyers into the market. Um, rental rates are, rental rates are very high so it's a great time for a buyer to get into a property and buy um, with uh, rents so high. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on, just like Lisa said. I, I think the biggest thing is the undersupply of homes that are on the market. So if you're a seller and you have a place to go, I mean, so if you're a seller and you sell, then you have to buy, right? So if you're trying to do that, the market is so slim, you had no problem selling. The problem is when they get multiple offers on homes, I mean, we've heard 16, 20, 10, all kinds of crazy multiple offer numbers. Uh, it sounds great if you're a seller, but it does put a strain on the market for sure, don't you think? Yeah, it seems like I've been polling all of um, our agents in town here, the top agents about where their sellers are going and most of the sellers that are selling right now um, are going out of state. They're moving away. Yeah, they're trying to get away from COVID and we totally understand there's a lot of things going on and people are just trying to go, oh my gosh, we're back under a lockdown today. Today is Tuesday, the 14th, more the middle of the month, the 15th, and there we're locked down again. So the gyms have closed, you've got outdoor dining. So you've got a lot of small businesses that are really struggling right now. Oh my gosh, I mean, they were open. I, I don't even know how long they were open. It seems like about four weeks. I don't even think that many. The gyms are closed down again. And there's a lot of things that were open and people trying to figure it out, getting a little better at it. And then all of a sudden they pulled the plug once again. Mm-hmm. Well, and then the whole big next conversation is going to be about schooling. Um, and people are, uh, I'm sure, going to, going to move too to states, I think, where their kids can go to school. I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens there. But I mean, I think there's been a lot of moving. Um, one of the polls said that 22% uh, of Americans have moved during COVID uh, for various reasons. But 22% um, have either moved or know someone who's moved like in their family. And that's quite a lot of people. It's millions and millions of people are in flux and moving right now. Yeah, I mean, basically everybody we know and do business with moves. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a given. You put your house up for sale, it sells, you have to move. Yep. And the main reasons that people you know, are moving in this sur in survey that was done by Pew Research is people need a home office now because they're gonna be working at home, so they need a different space. Um, they need, they want a better or more functional kitchen because they're in it and home and cooking. Um, and then uh, they want better outdoor space because if they're home, they want a place to be outside um, if they can't go out and go to the parks and go to the playgrounds, especially with young kids. So those were the three top things that people are moving for right now in this particular survey that was done in June. Um, so recently who did the survey do you know pew research pew research okay mm -hmm. well that's they we everybody knows who they are yeah i read it on uh inman so that was just current da da uh, data because i always want to bring you what's new and fresh and up to date with what's happening in the market but just what we found with our people um and our clients it's just crazy out there if you have something to sell but if you have something to buy it's challenging 
Uh, you definitely see the days on market is down like 10%. So things are going really, really quickly. And really across the various price ranges, we've been looking at the market and watching things. And um, when you see the things selling, they weren't on the market that long, even when they're closing. So. Yeah, no, you put a listing on the market now, get ready for your phone to ring and set up a lot of showings. Mm -hmm. Under Strictly under the COVID rules, we have certain rules we have to follow. You have to have a face mask. There has to be hand sanitizer uh, as soon as you walk in the door. Uh, you don't have to wear gloves or booties. They figured the booty out part out very quickly. People were slipping and falling and sliding around. Mm -hmm. If you've ever worn booties on hardwood floors, they don't mix. No, no, it's not, it's not fun. Um, <laughs> make me laugh. So anyway, that's kind of what's going, going, going on uh, as a general overview in our local market here. I know that there's been some crazy hot spots across the nation, Nashville, Boise, uh, Florida, Texas, a lot of Californians moving to Arizona, to the Phoenix Scottsdale area. And it used to be retirees, but now it's not ne just necessarily retirees. Young families are moving too, because they can really buy a home if they're a renter um, and spread out a little bit. Uh, another one of the trends of, from the last 12 months, but that has accelerated more recently, is people moving to the suburbs. So they're moving out. People here that we've found that my, in my unofficial poll, that people are moving away out of state but we're getting a huge influx of people from the cities, from the Bay Area in California, from Los Angeles, Long Beach, you know, Hermosa Beach, the Orange County. They're coming up here uh, to Ventura County where it's not quite so congested and also just quite not quite as expensive because if they can work from home, they have more options. Yeah, I got an email today from a real estate publication. Uh, since we're in real estate, they email me and one of the things that they're going to feature in their next feature is home offices. Mm -hmm. I guess that's got to be the number one thing because mm -hmm. people are, are moving and round and 22% of the people moving or know somebody that's moved. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of people, but I would think that's high on the list. It was number one. It oh, was it was home one. office. Mm -hmm. So this publication was, it's an online publication was, Hey, if you've got a house with a home office for sale, you know, let us know. We're making a special deal. They're making their whole next push on advertising about just homes that have home offices. Yeah, and even with a home office, um, if you have a, two people in the household that both need a home uh, uh, office, that changes your bedroom count and your needs, you know, skyrocket. If you have, you know, a family with some children and you need two offices, it's kind of bumps up your bedroom count quickly. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, bedrooms turn into offices very quickly. Mm -hmm. And th they work out. I mean, especially now that all the people that aren't going to go back to their offices, but still going to be working and working from home, mm -hmm. it's going to be fantastic for them to get the right space. And that's what they're looking for over and over again. That's what we're finding out as we're talking with our clients. That's it. Mm-hmm. So do you want to go over the stats? Let's go over the stats. The statistics are coming. Here they are. So here we are with our statistics here. I know this bar board is hard to read, but I'll run through it here. So our June 2019 to 2020 stats, and these are Ventura County specific. The number of sales down 20%, the number of new listings down 23.42%, the median list price, up almost 11 percent the median sales price up over 11 percent and then i have the average list price here at nine hundred and eight thousand and change the average sales price eight hundred and eighty five thousand um, and then the year to date numbers on these the average um, list price 862 and then the sales price eight hundred and thirty six thousand those are up respectively 10.67 percent on the list price and up nine and a half percent basically on the average sales price and that's year to date so that includes january and february before everything shut down in march okay um, All right, wait, wait a minute so this is june 19 and june of 20 so mm -hmm. this is just the snapshot of june and 19 and the snapshot of june in 20. yep except this section is year to date year to date so that's from january 1st 
And today's July 14th. Until June 30th. Okay, so, all right. The first six months. And then average days on market, like I said before, was down 9.5%. So, like, things are staying on the market less time. They're selling very quickly. And then here are the quarter stats. So, the qu second quarter of 2019 to the second quarter of 2020, you can see the numbers here. The number of sales down 35%. Number of listings down almost 32%. Days on market down 8.62%. And then the average list price for the quarter, so three months and three months, is up 9.5%. And the average sales price up 7.5% to 745000 um, on the average sales price for the quarter. So what that means is if you bought a house in June of 19, and you're selling it in June of 20, you're up almost 7%. Average sales price 7%. And then what's the? The year to date here says 9.48%. Per per That's year to date and this is quarter to quarter. Oh, okay. Quarter so, of 19 to quarter of 20. So if you bought a house in January and you're selling it today, you're up 9.5% basically? Yeah. we. Depends on the house. Depends if it's ready to go, looks nice, <laughs> clean, good location. Um, but I would say based on the demand and something I just heard today about the demand, the buyer demand is far outpacing the inventory that's available. And that's just basic economics, supply and demand. Yeah, because if we're down 35% on quarter over quarter, that's a huge amount of homes that aren't on the market. And then all these statistics here are for Ventura County. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is the county around, and wow, th those are amazing statistics. Right, and that's what we've seen as I've been look looking at the closed sales, um, as things have started to pick up here in the last several weeks, that many, many, many of the properties are closing over the asking price. So the whatever the asking price was, and in different price ranges from our entry range, mid range, and high end, things are closing over the asking price, which doesn't happen all the time. I mean, it always you know, happens occasionally, but not as on a regular basis as I'm seeing it um, on the MLS right now. Well, and there's still deals out there. So I don't want you to think you know, that every one of them that's getting multiple offers is going out way over list price. I would say that's the majority of them. But we've seen some houses close with some pretty huge discounts also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that um, the, the market uh, when you have a situation like we have seen where some of these premier location in Ventura Midtown properties are getting 13, 14 offers, that means that, you know, 13 people didn't get it. I mean, only one person's going to get it. So that leaves 13 buyers that didn't get it out of the 14 that wrote. And where are they going to go? You know, and those are people that took the time to get pre-qualified and look at the house, write the offer. Um, and then they didn't get the property. Right, jump through the COVID hoops, which keeps everybody safe. We're mm -hmm. not saying it doesn't. So they've gone through all this. They've got they've got pre-qualified. They've written an offer. Right now, offers about 37 pages. No problem. We can whip one out very quickly. However, you didn't get the house, so now you got to go to the next house and get multiple offers. Well, how do you navigate these very tricky waters? And that's mm -hmm. why we're here. Mm -hmm. We want to give you the inside track because what you're looking for are deals that depends. If you're buying a home, you want to buy the right home. If you're buying an investment property, mm -hmm. you want to buy it right. Now, what would be the difference? Well, the home's going to be where you live. You're not buying to get the 10%, 9.5% return. You're buying the home to live in it, to pick up the home office, the beautiful yard, the park that's close all the amenities, the, the great kitchen that you're wanting, since now you're spending more time in there, versus, hey, I wanna buy a rental property that's gonna either make me some money in the short run, let's say as far as rent's coming in because interest rates are so low, or in the long run. If I'm making 10% uh, you know, every six months, that's 20% a year. I mean, by golly, that's you're not gonna get that in the bank well, yeah, I don't see that being sustainable over the long term, but right now that's the market that we're in. Yeah, the markets are always changing. They're always moving. So it's a moving target for sure. However, if we bought it right or you buy it right, you're going to be a whole lot happier. Number one, to get the property. And number two, 
to all already walk in the door with built-in equity. Right. Yeah, it's a great time. If you're thinking about buying or selling or investing in real estate, we're always happy to talk about it. Um, that's what we do. We look at homes and prices every day and we're always staying on top of what's happening in the market, the statistics, because you see the headlines and the headlines can be all over the place from, you know, it's a great time to the sky is falling to what's going to happen. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, not just the real estate headlines, but all the headlines are kind of crazy. Um, but then what does it really mean when we really see the numbers come out? None of it is pointing to the bottom falling out or the prices going down, not based on the conversations we've had in the last couple of months, especially with buyers. Um, they're coming from all over the place out of our area, um, which is not necessarily typical, even though we are a second home market, they're coming from places that we haven't um, generally seen in the past. That's right. And they're coming very quickly, fast and furious around here. Mm -hmm. Let me state right now, if you're getting benefit from this video, please share and like. Oh my gosh, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers and we're very close, right? Yeah, we're only a few away. So subscribe, like, share, tell all your friends. Oh my gosh, they know. Just look at the numbers, right? Yep. So if you're looking for property um, in Ventura County or anywhere, we have an amazing referral network and we'd be happy to help you find the right agent to make your real estate dreams come true. So visit us at GaryAndLisa.com. Your real estate edge. We look forward to working with you soon. Absolutely. Thanks.